Okay. So I'm having a bite of granola bar. Need some energy. I'm almost at the other side of the lake. The wind's got gnarly. Man, I was getting tossed around. just pulled up look at this so that's it let's get the boat in the water snacks got some snacks a little uh, energy bar Sean if you're watching I know I know, too much sugar in this one. But I have a whole box to finish. When I'm done those, I'll try the ones that you suggested. The water's dead glassy. Gonna start with uh, Old Faithful, a little Rapala minnow. Well, let's give her a flick, see what happens. I'm anchored off at about 13 feet of water, um, roughly this depth and, and sort of off from a beach area that tends to have some uh, movement. And as soon as I got into this spot, I could see the fish finder lighten up. So we're going to uh, give her a shot here. Oh, oh, what are you beeping at? Did you hear that? I'm going to try. Look at that. How about an old red devil? Oh, getting more movement on the fish finder. All right, we're gonna try a little of everything. It's fishing, that's it. Let's get the anchor up. The breeze has picked up a bit, so I'm gonna have to crank her into the wind. But it doesn't look too weedy here. We got ducks. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you would know that. They're awesome. A ton of fun. Check it out if you haven't already. I did a two part building a duck coop in the pen and then picking up the ducks. And uh, yeah, I've had some nice comments on that. So thank you for those of you watching and leave me comments. Who doesn't want to see cute ducks? Look at the fish finder. It's lit up. Now, we just need to be biting. There we go. Try another lure. This one gets down deep. It's got a bigger spoon on the front. All right, the winds have picked up oh, just like that. And uh, I'm going to, uh, there's a little bit of a, almost like a little cove. I'm gonna head in and uh, might give me a little protection from the wind. Um, lots of fish movement, nothing biting yet, but still a beautiful day. I just came up onto shore, found this little uh, sandy shoreline, which was nice. Got the boat in nice and uh, close on the sand here. 
Now the weather has rolled in. It's not too bad. I'm gonna head out across the lake, um, at least into the middle or maybe to the other side. Now all of this system, this is all rolled in. Pretty dark over here. No fish yet, but that's okay. Water is getting choppy, a lot more calm here. I'm only in about four or five feet of water. Not too bad as far as weeds go. So I'm gonna cruise up along the shoreline. I'm gonna cut across and then let the wind take me on the other side of the lake back down towards the, uh, the boat launch where I set out. I had to get across quick. And uh, wow, that weather changed quick. And I was looking at the barometer. I can see the weather change on the barometer. I don't care if I don't care if I get dunked in. I got all the gear. The water's warm. I'm safe. It's the stuff in the boat that I don't want to lose. I've got lures sitting here. My camera. The other camera. Well, this camera's on a leash. Maybe I should do that with this one. My tackle box. You know what I mean? So it wasn't so much whether or not I tipped over. I just didn't want to lose any gear. So far, no fish, no snags. One, uh, come on, just one, give me one fish. I didn't know that this lake was that deep, 100 feet. Fishing boat would be pretty, pretty sweet out here. I hear music. It's from the other side of the lake. I don't know if you can see, probably can't see it. There's the water tower, Cobden water tower. So just to the left of that is where I'm parked. Somewhere over here, it might be a church or something, but definitely some music coming from the other side. Couldn't tell what it was. How's that end? I guess I'll know when I upload the footage. A little update. We got down to the end of the lake, across from the boat launch, but the winds and the and the waves were uh, sort of driving me like right up to the right to the end. But it was really shallow. Holy moly! For you, it's been about a minute, but for me, it's been three hours of cranking into the wind. Anywhere you say